can you beat Borderlands 2 while only using SMGs day 12? And starting from last time as we have just finished setting everything up for today because with a little offline farming I have now reached level 80 and we are ready to get every single unique SMG at level 80 or 79 if it is something very annoying like the two effervescent weapons, the Avenger or even the bitch. And we're starting off by going through all of the SMGs from when you would find them in game. And of course a while ago I did end up saying that Moxie's bad touch was actually impossible to get at this level because I had grabbed it at an earlier level. So obviously if I went to Moxie right now I'd get myself a good touch. But there is the bad touch which I couldn't get until this point which took me a very long time to figure out. And that is if you've got a friend or just another Xbox remote or PS4 remote you can just add a split screen player get a new character on that account, get them to pay Moxie, they'll give that character a level 80 Moxie's bad touch, and there we go. We already have two out of the 22 SMGs crossed off the list. And before starting all of the farming, I decided to drop every weapon except for the three incredibly rare ones, because I want to make it seem like a clean slate, and every single one of those things will be replaced at level 80, and we're going to be starting off by going to the Assassinate the Assassins mission, which not only gives us the Emperor, but also the Commerce. Yeah, Alright, no Emperor here, but listen, we can now Stop just go and farm Assassin what, as many times as we can. Oh, what are these doing here? <laughs> Ugh, not even level 80. Get out of here. Come on. Disgusting. And I probably shouldn't have dropped my Slagger. Oops. <laughs> Yeah. Hey! Oh, we got it! <laughs> There's a good time to jump in there. I got it before the commerce. What? That's awesome. Can we get these stupid. Oh, we got both! <laughs> it got both at the same time. No! They're both level 79! Well, <coughs> let's continue. Next. There we go. Come on, 80. There we go. A commerce. What? Yes! Yes, please be level 80. Woo! Whoa. Lucky. Yes! There we go. Okay, level 80. And as we have just gotten number 3 and 4 out of 22, it is now time to go to the Frostburn Canyon to grab ourselves a Lasco and a Hellfire. Let's see what Commerce does. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Nearly killed a normal spider ant. Nearly. It really is the worst SMG, I think. Hello, Lasco. Wow. Level 80? Nice. Come on, Scorch. We need to move on to more, more fun farms than this. Nah, screw you, you big. Oh, never mind. I love you. I love you. I love you, Scorch. How did I not see it? Yes, level eighty. Come on. Oh, thank God. I thought I saw level seventy-nine, but nope. We got level 80 Hellfire very damn quickly. And after getting the Lasco and the Hellfire, we are now on 6 out of 22 very quickly. So it is now time to go to the Tundra Express and get the Baby Maker. Hopefully this time it isn't as bad as the second run we had with this, where it took forever. Hey. Hey. There we go. Holy shit. Oh yes, we got it! Please, please, please be level 80. That is no! Ah, oh. baby maker, baby maker, baby maker, baby maker. Like that. You even drop it. In. Oh, please, please, please! I don't even want to look at it. I'm so scared. Please be level 80. Fuck! No! Oh my god, it's another one! It's another one! Please! Please, 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 please! Damn, that thing's tanky. Wasn't my time. 
Please. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Drop. What the hell? The fuck? Oh, it's it's a baby maker. Please, 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 please. Pray to every god in every planet on this damn game. Alright. Yes! Come on. You ruin all the fun, you stupid varkid. Yes. <laughs> yes! And with the hell that is the baby maker finally done, I can finally move on to the slagger and the two lane. Hey, oh. oh yeah, I forgot the baby maker has the extra explosions. Wait, what the hell is not even dead? What? What is going on? <laughs> what is he doing? Hey, he's invincible. He's hacking. He's hacking. Game. What the fuck? And after the game gave me an absolutely massive middle finger straight to my face, I finally kill him and get myself the two lane. And now it's time for the farm to start. Oh, we got it. No! <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Yay, come on, please. Yes! Yes! Alright, we can move on from this. And after getting the true lane and the Saga, we are now up to 9 out of 22 SMGs. I quickly grab the 10th one, which is the Bane, of course. And now it's time to go for one of the four hardest ones to get, which is the Bitch from the Bunker, which has a 3% drop chance, which is uh, not that great. And 21 runs and nearly 2 hours later, I decide to give up on the bunker for now, seeing as this bitch is a, well, bitch to get. I feel like I honestly have a better chance of getting this from someone like Uranus who has a very, very, very good chance to drop world drops. So next time we will go with that. And I'm going to say that day 12 has been a massive success. I've gotten 10 out of the 22 already. This is going much faster than I was expecting. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be quickly grabbing the Bone Shredder and heading to the DLCs. But if you've got any tips, especially when it comes to fighting those damn Seraph Guardians at the end, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And if you've got any good, cool, fun ideas for any of the Borderlands games, I would love to hear them. I've already added a bunch to the list that you have given me. But anyway, that is the end of day 12 and there will be a new video out tomorrow. Thanks for watching.